prayer today. Today I'm going to offer a prayer about worry. Let's pray together. Heavenly Fathers, we gather in prayer this morning. We pray about worry. We pray about it because we are worried. Lord, we find ourselves worrying because we are not certain what the future holds. Help us to remember that has always been true. Help us to remember also that worry alone does not change things. Help us to remember, however, that how we act can change things. We pray for each of us to remember your admonition that we love our neighbors as ourselves. As part of the prayer for our community, we pray that we each remain sensitive to doing what we can do to protect not only ourselves, but each other. Guide us each to know that we are safe in your care. Help us put aside our feelings of worry and to find moments or maybe even hours of peace. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of Matthews, from the sixth chapter, verses 25 through 34. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? And why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon, in all his glory, was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What will we eat, or what will we drink, or what will we wear? For it is the Gentiles who strive for all these things, and indeed your heavenly Father knows you need all of these things. But strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of their own. Today's trouble is enough for today. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.